this painting I named the bridge so I started using the charcoal to sketch the subject on the canvas so um, after that I, I using very easily the yellow color to use to paint the, the background So I easily covering all the white space in the ground with yellow. Sometimes I mix with green and orange to give this variation that I need for the background. Now I'm using some orange to cover a few spots where the bridge will be painting on and try to get some uh, the space where the flowers and the, all the green stuff will be. Now I'm using very dark color, very um, mixing like violet with uh, green to get this very um, aspect that is quite deep bridge and combined with the very red color and violet mixing with the green, the same green I use for the background. So I'm making some contrast on the painting and I start also working in some trees and leaves with the yellow and red color to get even more and more contrast and giving the location where the subject will be on the painting giving more clarity actually on the painting I'm mixing green, dark and very light colors, some turkish, some very dark red colors too, and some orange colors. So all together to give this impression is a three dimension. Some subjects are more closer than others, so for that they get more bright colors. And even when they are very far away, they are getting more and more dark.
I use in very dark brown I mix it with a uh, blue brown and black color to get this color so that's gonna be the base of the bridge so very very dark one and I will still working together the background so after I finish one thing I just follow the other so in this case I am doing the bat part from the bridge so it's gonna be some chips and also some volume to give this effect there is some um, nature behind that bridge Just giving some reflex and small details on the bridge, giving this, this is very um, uniform colors and giving some texture also. So the passage from the bridge and this very perspective is very easy to make if you're using the right colors. So now I'm using the very fine brush number four to make these small details and both sides from the from the bridge passage. So even small dogs in the spot so jello and wine and because I wanna give that impression some leaves fall down on the bridge and but, but no I won't go through the small details, just give this impression there is a few um, chips on, on, the, on the floor and some of them are more dead than others like they are, the colors are different between orange, green and yellow so yeah that would be good, good job Um, I always looking around giving 
with some small touch and with the brush and small one they give this the small details of deep um, dimension on the uh, on the chips and the ground and the very nature for the landscape that is now the work focus on the small details giving more light more reflex in the shadows to get more similar to the reality And of course, I use sometimes green or gray color to give this very contrast effect on the background between the bridge and the chips. So I using a lot the reflex and dark colors to get this effect. There is very very mixed and very rich of colors, of course. So I have been painting for the last 16 years and every day is a new experience to stand by in front of the white canvas and try to absorb from reality and do the interpretation uh, to express on the canvas and that's something magic and very very I'm very, I'm very happy to do that actually every day is a new experience to go for um, express the best from you it's really amazing so this is the way I paint a bridge a forest bridge. I really hope this tutorial can be useful for you and I wish you a lovely day. See you the next time.